health alert tonight for anyone who suffers from fall allergies. You may have already started sneezing and wheezing, but there are some things you can start doing now to get some relief. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenetti, joins us right now with four simple steps to ease your symptoms. Poor Stephen. So with September just days away, it's hard to believe, right? Summer is coming to an end. If you suffer from all fall allergies, however, you should start thinking of how to fight them starting now. As our climate continues to change, the allergy season may not only arrive earlier, but actually last longer. So what are the four steps? You want to know. So the first step is to plan ahead. If you take medications, consider starting now before symptoms kick in. Next is to minimize any mold in your environment. I'd love to say you can get rid of it completely, but that's almost impossible. You'll find it outside where dead leaves gather and inside your house in the bathroom and basement areas. The third step is to avoid pollen. Sounds easy, but a bit hard to do unless you live in a bubble, right? But when the pollen counts are high, try to stay indoors with the windows closed and the air conditioning on. And the last step is to seek help. Please, no one needs to suffer in silence. Allergists can help by giving you a personalized tr treatment that really works for almost everyone. If you need to find me, I'll be in my bubble. In the meantime, <laughs> what can you tell people to help out? What are your prescriptions for helping out with allergies? Besides Stephen and his bubble, number one, you can capture allergens with a HEPA filter. It removes pollen and mold uh, from the air in your house. Number two, minimize moisture as it reduces mold. Wipe up any water, use fans in the bathroom, and scrub any mold you see on surfaces. Number three, leaves are starting to fall, and allergy sufferers should consider wearing masks when raking and gardening. And the last one is before turning on the heat, clean vents and change the furnace filter. You'll avoid filling your house with the allergens trapped in the summer. I got more tips for this on WXYZ.com, especially what happens on windy days. Great advice. Thank you so much, Dr. Nandy. And as always, if you have a question for the good doctor or health concern, a concern, you can email him at Dr. Nandy at WXYZ.com or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. And Dave, it's raining. Yeah, we got